Fascinating info on the Fulfill Your Fantasy match. Oh, hello, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sorry. No. Didn't notice you were there. Well, as I'm sure you're well aware, that was a fantastic lesson from me last week on the uh, the wonders nope. of the match between Booker T and Jeff Jarrett for the WCW Championship. Now, this week, I'm, not, I'm cutting to the quick... I'm cutting to the chase because I've been told that I ramble. Mm -hmm. Speaking of rambling, mm -mm. well, change a letter and we will be talking about rumbling. That's right. This week's assignment is... What? Hello class, welcome to this week's assignment. My name is from? Professor Jacob Edwin and I'd like to thank Mad Mike for filling in and giving everybody a weekly assignment for the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. I'd also like to thank all of you that are still here with us after Mad Mike tried to fill in for <laughs> the weekly assignments for the Wrestling Mayhem podcast. Now quick thing of business i am going to be posting these on social media from now on you can find these on at jacob edwin for facebook twitter and instagram you can support your local classroom by going to pro wrestling tees.com slash professor jacob edwin so now let's get to the triumphant return in this week's assignment every week i give out a wrestling match for those of you to watch and submit either a written or verbal essay. So, this week's assignment, 2006 New Year's Revolution, the Elimination Chamber, defending John Cena against Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, Carlito, Chris Masters, and the Big Red Machine, Kane. Unsurmountable odds for John Cena, which was the norm for the time. You often saw the odds stacked against John Cena in this era, and the crowd started to take note. They started to take note that maybe nothing could stop John Cena, that perhaps Cena was super. So please pay attention to this crowd, because they were taking note of John Cena being shoved down their throats. Maybe he was on a few too many... 7-Eleven cups or ice cream bars, as some might say. Please pay attention to this and the subsequent match that follows. Some of you know. For those of you that do know, you know. For those of you that don't know, you're going to see a very momentous and emotional occasion after this assigned match. So take this as a two for one. Continue to watch all the way to the end of New Year's Revolution. And I look forward to hearing your insightful thoughts next week. Thank you. Well, there you go, Jake.